Last year, the small satellite cities of Bucha and Irpin just outside Kiev became known all over the world. Russian troops advanced through the north by land, bringing death and destruction to all the settlements along the way. My first memory is burning Irpin, a suburb in flames, the complete destruction of the bridge, a sea of cars and dozens of terrified eyes that had to flee with no idea of what's going on. The city of Irpin is where the Russian offensive on Kiev was stopped. In addition to professional soldiers, many volunteers, who up until February 24th were regular civilians, fought against the so-called Second Army of the World. In Irpin, this military unit held positions just a few kilometers away from the Russian invaders. Over by Stoyanka, there was a horde of soldiers. Our first positions were there. Everything in sight was in smoke, I remember. Everything was black, smoking. You look at it and think, God, how can this be real? Irpin was never fully captured and will remain a symbol of Ukrainian resilience and heroism. Bucha will also serve as a stark reminder of the genocide committed by the Russian regime against the Ukrainian nation. The death toll in all liberated areas of the Kiev region stands at 1,137 civilians, while Bucha alone accounts for 461. These are mostly ordinary people. We have an epicenter employee. We know that she went to work that day and was killed. She was in uniform. We have a policeman. We know that he was tortured. His badge was left on him. Yevhen Spiden is originally from Luhansk and previously worked in a morgue. Following the liberation of Bucha, he volunteered to participate in the exhumation process. The most important case for me is Margarita. This is a woman who fled with her three kids in a car that had children written on it in very large letters. And they hit her with a tank. She was burned alive with her children, right there in the car. For many residents of the Kiev region, the past year has been the most frightening of their entire lives. They experienced events that were unimaginable in the 21st century. The liberation of the Kiev region marked the Ukrainian army's first victory, giving hope to many that Ukraine will end this war in their favor. More hatred towards the enemy, to destroy together, till the end, to victory. We understand that each brother has to be avenged, and that's why we'll be there until the end, no matter how hard it is, while still on our feet.